Greetings, man, and welcome to the channel, man. Today we're gonna to talk about my hair, and here is my result for brushing since I ever since I cut my hair like three days ago. So yeah, I'm trying to get back my 360 ways, and um, you can see the progress right here on top of my head and the side of the hair right here. A little bit of ripple showing up, and um, nothing in the back of my head. You just see it. But yeah, here you can see a little bit of thinning, man. I broke my um, derma roller, so my progress is kind of. It's kind of standard right now, but yeah, I've been getting my hair back a little bit, but shit, gotta wait till I get my new derma roller. And yeah, you can hear, as you can see, my acne scars or whatever you wanna call them, you know. I've been using one blade, but I still get those a little bit because, you know, razor in my neck, in name, friends like that, and yeah. So you can see another issue that I've been having is, uh, Ingrown hair, you can see a little bit hiding over there under the beard. A lot of people don't know that, and uh, you can see some acne scarring over here too. But yeah, I don't know what type of beard I want to rock in 2023. A little bit shorty, but I got inspired by Brody Hunter and some other, you know, other uh, social media icons, whatever. But yeah, you can see a little bit thinning over here. It's looking crazy, but let's see what that derma roller really gonna be doing, man. I ain't going to Turkey, man. I'm telling you that straight away, man. I'm going to be bald if that's gonna be looking bad like that. But yeah, you can see the back of my head, I got acne killers over there too. So my hair really don't like razors. But yeah, let's get into my um, 360 wave routine. I'm trying to get 360 wave. Actually, I ain't trying, I will get my 360 wave beehive hybrid. Here we can see back of my head, nothing is going on just yet. And then you just, you know, wash your hair with your water or whatever, pump it up, I don't know. I like to use, uh, uh, what you call this thing, um, uh, the detangler, you know, just to get the moisture all the way to the roots so you're not be brushing with the dry hair, man, you know, dry hair brushing that ain't the ain't the ain't the go way to go man trust me it's all for experience man you know you can't cheat the grind don't cheat the grind man you gotta do everything properly to get the best result a lot of people quit after one week or two weeks they're like get the ways i get no ways trust me i was brushing like back in the days like probably 30 to one hour at, at one session here's my medium brush yeah i was brushing like one hour 30 minutes Per session, I had like seven sessions a day, but even now I just be brushing like every morning and uh, evening time, max 10 minutes each time. So it's not possible, man. You just gotta be dedicated, and not even dedicated, nigga. You just gotta brush, man. Just brush. There's no cheat codes to this shit. And yeah, I have kilos behind my back, so I gotta be careful with that area, and uh, so I don't irritate it even while getting there. Uh, because I gotta be careful here I'm brushing my crown with it you know crown is the top of your head where your hair start growing so I'm trying to get the spiral so be high spiral and here's my um curve soft bristle brush I'll be using right after the medium brush you know I don't want to use hard brush just yet because you know my hair is short and my hair is thinning I'm not young anymore so I don't I can't it feel like it's tearing my tearing my hair apart so yeah, I just stick to these two for now, and um, I go over 360 every side, from the crown to all the way to the end, pause, major pause, man, and um, yeah, and this is more friendly to my acne keloid, I've been trying to get something to fix that up, but so far, it's, it hasn't gone away completely, but um, at least it's nothing crazy, nothing to worry about, well, when I get the face, as you can see in my if you follow my vlog channel, you can see them over there when I get my brother's cutting my hair. But yeah, here is the final thing I'll be doing, is, which is plastic mat, plastic bag method. You just put your hand in there and it acts as a brush. It helps to get the static out your hair and lays your hair down. Don't ask me why uh, I cannot explain it to you because my physics ain't that good, but it works. And it helps your hair lay down so it don't, doesn't stick out under the drag anyways. So yeah, I'll be doing that. Same way as I'll be brushing, you know, all over the hair, every side. From the crowd to the end, pause again. So yeah, I'll just be doing this 10 minutes, you know, a session. But here's my drag, it's worn out. You can see it's tearing apart. And yeah, you can see 
big headed people man yeah I feel me man this is for y'all man you know don't be ashamed to use it hold up the rag man so you put this size up so you don't get the headlines and yeah you can see this is crazy bro <laughs> hey, if y'all see this man I need sponsors man I need new durags man whatever hit me up man I need double XL my size anyways you put the uh, the straps you know put them flat so you don't get the headlines and headaches that, that's one of the things you know the black hole it hurts to put to direct during the evening when you go to sleep bro you gotta put them flat so you tuck them in right there and then uh, you do the other one right here too so you don't get the headlines and headaches you know you know cut the blood circulation you know here you don't have to put it tight you know so you see i didn't put it tight either you know, somebody pull that rag off, you know, they can pull it off, you know. I don't know why would anybody do that, but anyways, you know, the camera died, but yeah, he was back at it, so this is the end result. But you know, we ain't just finished, you know, I like to tuck in the flap because I look wild when I have it just swing it like that. So, you know, you just took two sides and then just roll them in and tuck them in pretty much so I don't get the headlines behind my neck either because it looks goofy when your hair is growing and you get the big ass line over there so this is called no not minted apparently i don't know i'm old school i don't got no terms for this thing i like to make terms for everything man me for me i just got a nigga with a durag on man excuse me for using that nigga word but a brother with a durag but yeah that's about it man this shit gonna be opening up during the evening and thank you for watching and stay blessed my brothers